false alarm last spring. You've been so kind to him. I kept the gun because I thought I might have to use it. Well, we were right. In a way. Tyler did want to hurt someone. He hurt himself, didn't he? And when that didn't work out, he went looking for closure in other ways. Bryce, you gonna take him down? Bryce, come on, you remember. No one did anything at this school without him saying go. You think you're gonna get an apology out of him? It's nothing. Get over it. Seriously? Did you know? About Monty, did you know? What about Monty? He said nothing happened at Liberty without you knowing. Is that true? Not anymore. Went off the rails last year, dude. The trial, the whole Hannah thing, it all freaked him out. What is this about? You know about Spring Flame, right? You saw what I almost did. If it'll make you feel better, go ahead. You'd be doing me a favor. You don't want to die. Come on, dude, you could kill the monster. This town would celebrate. But you have the pictures. Because I found him in the water. I'm the one who called the police and told them where he was. You told the police? Anonymously. Because I knew how it would look. Oh. Why were you at the bridge in the first place? When he was going to jump off the bridge, he saw Bryce then. He got it. He doesn't get to be anyone anymore. It's over for him. And I knew right then that I didn't want to be dead. I can rear window. I thought it was cool, remember? This one doesn't actually work, because uh, well, that'd be <laughs> too expensive, but it's, uh, it's still cool to look at. Right? Yeah. That's so sweet. Bicycle. Oh, not just any bicycle. My old bicycle. Recently repaired, but she still rides like a dream. Is there a helmet helmet? You hate it. This is a murder investigation, and we are hiding Tyler and his gun. <laughs> Bryce wasn't shot. What? There's a hole in the back of his head. This so the papers guessed it was a gunshot. They were wrong in saying he was beaten. Oh, shit. Get my big blood force trauma, and they're looking for the murder weapon. Which is what? They're dragging up the river on both sides of the bridge. Oh shit. The river? I'm what? Guess, is that where you guys dumped Tyler's guns? Correct. <gasps> oh my god. Justin. I'll deal with it. <laughs> Plot twist. And it can make you miss something that. that's right in front of you in the present. What you get, kid? It's not as much as Bryce gave you, but enough. How do I know you won't come back? No, you don't. That's kind of how this works. We got blood on the ground and a dead man's car. No more leaks. That bullshit in the register took our whole day. This is officially a homicide. It's going to be a long night. 
Holy fuck. But yeah, but how's that connect to Alex? Now we're going to learn Alex's story next episode, I'm assuming. And how he's tied in. Or how he's not the killer. I'll tell you what, though. That episode really brought some major storylines to the surface of the show. We really got Tyler's kind of thing and he got to confront Bryce because he Montgomery played it up that Bryce kind of ordered his assault but really really we not truly know it was just Mo Montgomery because he went off the rails in that period of time and we also kind of I guess as a viewer they made you really think that Tyler did do it indeed because of the gun and um I guess that's kind of a bad thing as well because we think, oh, he's getting better, but then we just revert to what he's normally like. And I think that's all the characters did that too. And then when they realized that when he told his story, he told his side, yes, he didn't talk about the assault, but um, he talked about everything else. Clay kind of realized, no, he's telling the truth and we all need to believe him. And then it just kind of like confirmed that he definitely didn't do it because it was blunt force trauma and um, that just takes the whole thing into a whole different, completely different direction because we thought he was shot for like, well, the trailer made it think so and for two episodes we thought he was shot. So the fact that he d didn't die in that way makes the murder weapon up for grabs of trying to figure out what that is. And then Annie's voice voiceover kind of saying um it could be a suspect that we don't expect and then Alex being on the ride along and seeing that I'm guessing they're drugs and he's going oh crap and he texts someone so I feel like the next episode is going to deal with the Alex stuff um but I really think Alex didn't do it either but it's just telling the story of filling in the gaps of the, the eight months that Bryce was still alive, basically, and seeing if there's any clues in there, hints to who possibly ended his life. But I still don't know, to be honest, who who did it. So I think it's going to be someone still that we don't expect. And the mum is just like, top of my target list. But then Justin's still kind of shady, which worries me and concerns me because I want him to be okay. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this app this episode and my reaction to it. If you did make sure you have a thumbs up, leave a comment down below to theorize and click subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Okay.